Good morning, everybody. Today I am at Silver Dollar City. As you can see, the cool waterfall sign there in the background. Oh, and a bus going by. Seems like it's been here a while. I haven't made it to Street Fest yet this month, and today is the last day. So the plan is to see a few shows that the wife didn't get to see and get them on video for. So. If you would hit that thumbs up button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a member. Finally back here at Silver Dollar City. Been dealing with some sicknesses over the month and bad weather, so, but finally making it out. And it's a foggy day today. So, as you can probably see in the background, the fog is out. So, the park don't open till 10. I'm here plenty of time. It's only 8.30, so be here right when they open. And they do let you inside the park to the little front area before the park officially opens at 10. So we'll go explore maybe the gift shop and stuff first before the park opens a little bit. But with that, thanks for watching. Let's go inside Silver Dollar City. Here's a little look at the Hackley's water wheel before we go through security and the entrance and the tickets. If you need tickets, it's right over to the left hand side of the Hackley's water wheel. And here's the Silver Dollar City sign as you enter in, which they usually have a photographer out here to take your picture in front of if you'd like. And we're going right over there through security, so. They do have a tasting passport here for the Street Fest. $35, you get to choose five tastes from 21 eateries in the city. Like I said, this is the last day of the festival. April was kind of a rough month for getting to the park. We were, somebody was either sick or my son Clay had dental surgery or every time we planned on coming, the weather was bad. So it is the last day. So I'm gonna try to see a few shows before they go away after this, after today. Walking into the hospitality house where you can get your merchandise, or this is where you can enter into the Marble Cave. Right over there, you go to the Marble Cave tour. But here's some fire in the hole merchandise. They got some cups, oh, they got some baseballs. So here's a look at the shirts. They got some hats over here. Oh, the bulb, ball knobbers on this hat. What's the hats run? This one is $17.99. Fire in the hole, $24.99 for this one. So, a bunch of different prices here. And we got some kid shirts too over here for Fire in the Hole merchandise. This hat's pretty cool though. Fire in the Hole, Wanted, the Ball Knobbers. Pretty cool. This shirt right here is pretty cool. Reward. Bald knobbers. $3,000 reward. $1,000 each. Pretty cool. I don't think I'll make it on the Fire in the Hole ride today. Like I said, I'm going to try to do some shows that we wanted to see during this festival, but we just didn't make it out. So Here's a cool mug though. Fire in the Hole mug. This is pretty nice. $16.99. That ain't bad. They got fire in the hole. Lanyards wanted the ball knobbers. Oh, this is a cool photo frame there. Oh, we got this cool cup here, $34.99. See what the gray one is. They got snow globes. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's made to look like fire, I'm guessing. That's cool. The mugs. We got this nice gray one here. $39.99 for that mug. The baseballs are $11.99. Oh, this is a nice fire in the hole. That's a nice cut there. This one is $24.99. And they got some keychains. The keychains, $8.99. Looks like 
$8.99 for the keychains. This is a patch. Heavy duty sticker. This is $6.99 for the sticker. So, that's a fire in the hole merchandise. Oh, and we keep going. Here's another Calling All Heroes. Another shirt. There's a snow globe again, a big one. The coffee mug. They got some bags. What do we got? $29.99 here for this, like, I don't know. It's not quite long sleeve. Half sleeve? I don't know. $29.99. I'm a hometown hero. Fire in the hole. And there's my shadow. Then you walk around the corner, and there's more. Silver Dollar City Ozark Mountains, $21.99. They got a few different colors. There, that shirt. So they got they got you covered on merchandise. Don't see a tag for that one, but oh here we go. $39.99 for that. And they got hats, $24.99. Some t-shirts, $29.99. And toddler sizes over here, $21.99s. That one's pretty cool. And if you need a spare bag, or you forget yours, they got some bags over here you can get. Small ones. $39.99. They got some bigger ones here, are $49.99. Check this out. We might have just caught this testing before they open. This is the cable cable train? Cable car you call it? Coming right up the hill, this is what you use to come out of Marvel Cave. You gotta hike down in the cave and then you ride this back up as long as it's working. You must be giving it a test before the park opens today. That's pretty cool. Caught it seeing it moving. Haven't done that this year yet. Gonna have to do that one of these days. The Marvel Cave. That was cool to see it moving though, and testing. Pretty cool. They got a little toy section over here. You got some helicopters, some airplanes. Oh, you got some trains. Some cars, some cars over here. I don't know how this one ended up here, but this is a Fast and Furious car at Silver Dollar City. That's pretty funny. It's got a tag on it, 1999. I don't see any other Fast and Furious cars though. Just one lonely one. That's funny. The Evo. Oh, here's a couple more Fast and Furious ones. So maybe it is supposed to be here. That's cool that they got some Fast and Furious cars. $19.99 for these little ones. A couple more down there. And they got stuffed animals. Lots of different stuffed animals over here. Dinosaur one. Oh, there's a camo shark. Oh, a camo alligator. $19.99. Oh, the dinosaur is $21.99. Let's see what the shark is. The shark's $19.99. We have some more dinosaurs over here. I thought they were hard, but no, those are stuffed ones too. $19.99. The dinosaur corner. Yeah. So they got you covered if you need a stuffed animal. And some personalized mugs you can get for $9.99 over here. was a little bit of the merchandise there at the hospitality house just a little look at some of the new merchandise for fire in the hole and some of the other merchandise they sell silver dollar city so just waiting killing time till the park opens we still got about an hour till the park opens we were here extra early but love just walking around the park they let you in a little early to this front area so if you would hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel subscribe become a member and my goal today is to hit three different shows um let's see one's the living garden 
The other one's a circus, and then there was another one. I forget the name of it, but gonna try to hit three shows, so before they're gone, out of here for Street Fest. So hopefully we can get to all of them today before I gotta go pick up the kids from school and the wife from work. We'll see how it goes. Here's a little look at one of the signs with the flags behind it for Street Fest here. Got the sign before it comes down. Last day today. I don't know what these are for here, but check these clown things looking. Must be for one of the shows here happening on the, I guess the main street you would call this. The main stage. Check out these clowns. They got sticks, so maybe you hold them. Street Fest. Last day. The only thing usually open, and it is the doors open here, is Grandfather's Mansion. You can actually walk through before the park is open. So that's pretty cool. So let's go have a stroll inside Grandfather's Mansion. Right up here. Oh, the curtain's moving up there. I don't know if you can see it because of the reflection, but it's moving up there. The curtain. Grandfather's Mansion. Visitor's Entrance. Let's head in. First thing you come to is this music box playing. In this little area there. It's got a couple pictures. Chandelier. Pretty cool. The music box there. Grandpa says, stand erect, walk slow. We're gonna walk slow here. I'll zoom this. Got some pictures in this room. I'm usually with the kids, so we just walk really fast, or there's people behind me, but yeah, first little hallway you come to. Got some books on a table there, a little bench. We got some posters, pictures. Oh, we got some books and some suitcases down there, old suitcases. Oh, a bird cage? I don't see no bird though. And there we go. We got Grandpa rocking in the rocking chair. He's upside down. Everything's upside down. Even the bed. Look at the beds up there. Upside down. Probably said this. Glad to be back in the park. It's been a little while since I've got here. Hopefully I'll be able to get back on track and be here a lot more. And we're, where we're at, look, you got the carpet up there. We're walking on the roof, I guess. And this says, do not look. We're gonna have a peek though. You guys wanna have a peek? I don't know, if the camera. Oh, taking a shower. I guess we weren't supposed to look. Let's get a view from this bottom one. Taking a shower. Yeah, there's another look at him. Taking a shower. He's even taking a shower upside down. Oh, there's the red pants. Or, that looks like a whole onesie there. Uh oh, they're coming out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now we're heading down some stairs. You can see the sign there says John's room. Knock before entering. I guess we'll knock, see if anybody answers. Anybody there? Lots of animal noises. Now we're coming into this crazy room, which I don't know if the camera picks up very well, but it's slanted. I mean, you gotta lean forward to... Hey, there I am. Hi, everybody. You gotta lean forward. I don't think the camera really picks up 
the angle of this room, but oh, let's see if we got a pool ball coming. It's pretty cool when the pool ball comes down. Let's see if this is going. Here it comes. Circles right around, back in the hole. There's a look at the bed. Got some pictures. Oh, that picture. Creepy picture there above the bed. We got a seat over here. Yeah, this room is so slanted, it makes it hard to walk through. And there's usually tons of people in here every time we come through, so this is a nice change of pace. Get some of these signs on the wall, some of these pictures. Oh, I don't know if it caught it, but that one, the head disappears. That's creepy. This is one shot I never miss. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Watch Got a grandfather's clock there, of course. Oh, almost fallen. Grandpa's eye spy hole. Can we see anything in there? I'm not too sure if anything's in there. Doesn't look like it. The home safe. Oh, is that a diamond right there? It's probably not focusing. Focus! Looks to be like a diamond jewel sitting there. Pretty cool though. Check this picture out over here though. Let's see if it picks it up. Normal. Crazy picture. Does this one do anything? This one's got some creepy looking eyes. Oh, it follows you. The eyes follow you, maybe. And if you're ready to see a bunch of me, hello everybody, there I am. Grandfather's Mansion. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Become a member. We're walking through Grandfather's Mansion. This is the last little area here but check me out on the left now go to the right there's a lot of me here and as you can see i've kind of got a the room is slanted too going backwards so i don't fall and please exit here grandfather's mansion it is pretty cool i noticed that a couple times ago i came didn't notice it till this year i think when it opened this year that you can actually walk through the grandfather's mansion before the park actually is open. So that's nice that they have that open. Pretty cool. Here's a, can they walk inside Sullivan's Mill? Give you guys a look inside Sullivan's Mill here. Oh, looks like they got a bunch of baking stuff. Some cookbooks, baking stuff. Oh, spatulas, whisk. Oh, a bunch of cookie cutters. Largest selection of cookie cutters in the country, it says. It doesn't seem that big, but that's what it says. Largest in the country cookie cutters. So, just a little overview here of Sullivan's Mill. You can get some goodies over there. They got some snacks. Look at that, up there. Something's moving up there. Some kind of concoction. we got over here oh, flavored maple syrups butter maple syrup roasted pecan flavored syrup blueberry syrup blackberry syrup maple caroline flavored syrup sorry if I got that wrong roasted pecan flavored syrup corn dog mix right there that's really cool yeah check this out Love all the theming here in this park and all the different things. Sometimes you don't even notice. You can see something new every time you come. Now we got jam, jelly, and more over here. Cherry preserves, peach preserves, blackberry spread, apricot spread, we got a wild blueberry spread, peach butter, cinnamon. Candy, apple butter, 
caramel pecan apple butter, cherry butter. Never had try any of these. Sometimes we should get, sometimes I'll have to get some and try them out. But never bought anything, no jams or anything, jellies. They got a shelf here of pickled stuff. Pickled okra, bread and buttered pickles, dilly beans, pickled asparagus, a couple pickled things, sweet and hot pepper relish, a peach chipotle sauce. That sounds interesting. Pretty cool. Different things they have here. Six pack variety set popcorn. Oh, so this is popcorn. Rainbow, red, mushroom, blue, medium, purple. Extra buttery seasoning there. So if you wanna try a little popcorn set, there's that one. Oh, and there's a bigger one here. Oh, and some popcorn poppers up here, containers. What do we got here? Wine and cider, mulling spices, Ozark. Barbecue sauce, bacon ranch dressing. Oh, that's probably good. Cinnamon pear jam, maple bacon aioli, dilled garlic, a bacon queso. So, yeah, pickled garlic down here. A bunch of different things. Here's a little look at some of the goodies here you can buy inside sold in the mail. Ultimate chocolate chip cookie. Ultimate fire in the hole cookie. That looks good. Ultimate peanut butter cookie. Snickerdoodle. Some macarons. Macarons. Ultimate sugar cookie. Oh, we got some turnovers over here. S'mores bar. That looks good. Cream brulee cookie. Lemon Lover Bar. It's a bunch of goodies you can get inside Sullivan as well. We got what I believe is Sunny's water wheel down there. Can't get to it because you gotta go over the swinging bridge to get down there, so and it's not open yet. But Sunny's water wheel. Watch out, don't be bad here at Silver Dollars to the They'll throw you in the Silver Dollar City Jail here. Oh, somebody's sleeping in there. Public notice, justice comes to town. Silver Dollar City Jail. Somebody's sleeping in there. It's probably been there for a while. At least they caught the criminal. There's a little look at the swinging bridge from over on this area where I'm standing. This is there. They got it roped off here. This is as far as you can go before you can get before the park officially opens right here. I got my phone pulled up here with the Silver Dollar City app. And like I said, the plan is to see three shows today if I have time, hopefully. And the first one's gonna be the living guarding I'm gonna try to do. And then the next one's going to be Christie's Cellars Imaginarium. I'm going to try to do. And then the Amazing Anastasny Circus. I can't even pronounce that. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. So there's the circus one. I'm going to try to see. And there's the Kelly Cellars Imaginarium. And then down here is the Living Garden. So three shows I'm gonna try to catch today, if I can time it right. Hopefully I can make them all. Here's a little look at the Miss Molly's Mill Restaurant. It's a breakfast buffet. They open at 8.30 right now. Breakfast served until 11 a.m. There's a little look at what they got. It's hickory smoked bacon, pork sausage links, Fluffy scrambled eggs, home fried potatoes, southern style biscuits, sausage gravy, silver dollar cities, pancakes, fresh fruit, strudel bites, apple butter. Adults, $15.99. Children, 11 and under, $8.29. Fountain drink, $3.29. So, 
haven't ate that for breakfast. We did it one time for dinner last year. Haven't done the breakfast though. Blacksmiths are hard at work here. They got the fire going, heating everything up. Oh, they got demo times 8 30, 10, 11 30, and 2 30 today. Heating it up. Hello everybody. As you can see, I am not at Silver Dollar City right now. I am at home. I actually got enough video footage. I'm going to break it in my day at Silver Dollar City into two parts, I believe. So this is going to be the end of part one. If you would hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a member, and be on the lookout for part two with me getting on three shows and getting on fire in the hole. So thanks for watching and check out all our other videos and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.